Greetings, everyone. It's nine o'clock, nine o'clock, nine o'clock on a dot. All right. <clears throat> Thank you so much for being on time. Thank you for joining us tonight. <laughs> I don't know what to do about the echo. I got an echo. Uh, that's interesting. Okay. All right. So look, it's nine o'clock. I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm not going to hold up like I usually do. Um, everybody that's on this call now, that's a, that's not doing your pleasure. You know, that's not doing what I supposed to do for you. So I usually try and wait about five minutes. Um, so what I would ask you all to do is um, anybody that took action this week, anybody took action this week, you want to give me a good news story right quick? All right, here, no good news story. Essay, what's going on, man? Ain't nothing good going on over there in uh, Missouri to show me steak? Yeah, man, I'm going to have to come up with something. I'm going to give it to you. I'm, <laughs> I'm still on mute. Uh, hold on, let me check my, my system. How about now? Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Okay, you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, I'm, I got to... I gotta get with you probably after this call, probably tomorrow. We get together and I show you, show you what I'm getting ready to work on. Yep, we'll talk later on this. Uh, we'll talk tomorrow. Call me anytime after 1800. Okay, that's tomorrow. <laughs> All right, we'll do that. We'll, 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 come up, we'll come up with a little strategy. Brother Brent Smith, I see you on here, man. How you doing? Hey, what's up, man? I'm doing good. Uh, I've been getting your text and finally had a minute to, to join the call, so I appreciate the invite, man. And, uh, I'm, Brent, I'm happy you on, can. man. You took out the time to get on. I'm just proud of you, man. Thank you. Man, I appreciate the invite, man. Thank you. Looking forward mm -hmm. to participating as much as I can. Hey, look.
Look, when, Brent, when we get a chance, man, let's chit chat so you can uh, probably do a presentation because a lot of people probably want to hear what you got to say. Okay. All right. That sounds good, man. We'll get together and try to plan something out. All right. So, guys, it's on 903. Let me go ahead and get started because um, I don't want to keep you all night tonight. I'm going to try and keep a, a schedule. Um, the scary thing about it is I hear myself talk after I talk. Um, we're actually the first night ever we go on YouTube. <laughs> so we all on YouTube. <laughs> we all on YouTube. All right. So um, I'm excited. I'm not, I'm not gonna try. <laughs> Um, but look, let's make this happen. I'm gonna turn my volume down so I can hear myself echo, and maybe that'll work. So let's get started. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I'm gonna give you time. Head east on Louisiana 93, Ridge Road towards South Doming Avenue. In 1,000 feet, at the traffic circle, take the fourth exit on the Louisiana 93 Bridge Road. You may not be smart at all. I'm sorry, if someone has music in the background, I can't hear anything else you're saying. Yeah, somebody got the directions and they were playing music. Let me see how I can mute out right quick. If your phone is on mute, please mute your phone. I'm here to echo with me, so I turn my volume off so I cannot hear what you're hearing. Um, let me move this up. Excuse me, Coach. Bear with me, y'all. This is my first time using Zoom on YouTube. So hey, excuse so me. folks hearing this. Excuse me, Coach. May I uh, say something before we get started? Uh, all right. Let me see how to mute off. Let me see. I think I'm on mute. Let me see. Am I on mute? Williams, you can hear us? All right, that's one thing I got to work on. I got to work on how to mute everyone else. Excuse me, coach. All right. LT, can you hear? LT, can you hear? Coach. I think he'd have muted himself. He can't hear us. <laughs> right. And then, you know, he said he turned his volume down, so <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, let me turn this volume back up because I turned my volume off so I can hear you. I, I won't hear myself echoing. I'm echoing over here. I got YouTube going on and I hear me. So I turned my volume off. So if you're talking to me, I can't hear you. Yes, sir. Coach, can I say something real quick before we get started? This Lennox. I won't hear myself. Go ahead, Lennox. Uh, first off, I want to tell everybody, thank y'all for coming out. Uh, thank you, Coach. Thanks, you know, everybody. SL, thank everyone, um, all your friends. Um, my name is Lennox. I have a few people on here that I invited, you know, young black people that are out here trying to get it out here in the Memphis area. And they all been texting, and I actually see about five or six of them on here. So I want to tell y'all, thank y'all for coming out. Just, I've been doing this for three weeks now, and I promise it changed my life. Um, and if y'all have questions, free feel to answer. There's no dumb questions. I promise you that I've, they would tell you I've asked a million questions. So let's do it. These people just here to help us, motivate us, and help us get to a level of generational wealth. So y'all, let's come together. Coach, I appreciate you. And SL, I thank you too. Just thank all of y'all for coming. And I just wanted to say that because I see a lot of my people on you. Thank you, coach. <laughs> That's it. I'm ready. All right. So, Linus, I heard you and I heard you twice. Over here, I got YouTube going and I guess whatever reason, I got to figure out how to change that part of it. All right. Um, do every, just one per anybody can answer this. Do y'all see the presentation? 
Yes. All right. All right. All right. So listen, I'm going to I'm going to turn my mic off. Um, this is the first time I'm doing this. I'm going to have to wait to the end to ask questions. Um, please stay with me. I'm, I'm sorry that I don't know how to use technology that well. That's, that shows you you can make money in this game. All right. In this business. So tonight is all about you. We're going to start the presentation. I'm turning my volume off because I hear myself talking back. I got YouTube going on and I have um, Zoom going on. And for whatever reason, I hear myself and I can't I can't do it. It's echoing. So I'm going to turn my volume off and I'm going to move forward with the presentation. All right. So who am I? I'm Terrence Williams. All right. Uh, that's my contact information. The only thing I ask from you, this is totally free, totally free. The only thing I ask from you is to go ahead and give me a review. All right. All right, I need you to give me a review. Please give me a review. That's all I'm asking for. That helps me out because at the end of the day, I know several people that, that um, do business. And when they do business, the one thing they want to do is check the reviews of other people. So, you know, the reviews matters. All right, so I, I ask your assistance. Just give me a review at the end. And if it's not that good, let me know, you know, tell me, all right? All right. So who am I? I'm, I'm LaTerrence Williams. About me. I'm Terrence Williams. I'm a former teacher, um, Cattle Parish School Board. Um, I've taught for over 15 years. I was a driver's ed teacher, coach, coach sports, uh, basketball, football, creative uh, teams for archery. Um, that's one of my proud moments. Uh, I've won several championships in basketball, runner up in the city. However, Coaching archery was one of my biggest accomplishments because there was a time when I gave the kids to not make football, they did not make basketball, they did not make the track team an opportunity to shine. And that was important to me. So I, I don't know. I just want to highlight that. Um, another big thing that you may don't know about me, you may know about me. I'm, I'm clean and shaved now, <laughs> but um, I, I'm currently serving in the military, right? And um, I've been serving for over 23 years, all right? over 23 years. And guess what? I'm not rich. <laughs> so for those who don't know, I'm not rich. And the military, school teaching, coaching, none of that made it where I could be rich. However, um, I hope I can, uh, I can help you to see that it's an opportunity out there for you, right? Um, love learning, all right? I'm a lifetime learner. Right now, I am overwhelmed. I'm in school for the military. Um, working on these classes for the teach you. Um, I'm training several individuals individually. Um, I love learning, right? So I'm a lifetime learner. I'm a lifetime coach. I'm a lifetime mentor. I like helping others, period. The end, all right? Just put a period behind that, the end. I like helping others, right? So the other part of that is I always had a passion for real estate. As a kid, I was the same guy that, uh, <laughs> embarrassing, but as a little kid, I used to go outside the backyard we used to take paper and roll it up with some grass and light it up and smoke it like it's a cigar while we play Monopoly in the backyard. That, that's how much I love real estate, guys. I thought I was a businessman when I was a little bit of a kid. All right. So this is who you got. All right. Uh, this is who I am. All right. Now, I, I would like to say this, a compa uh, compound bad events. All right. So, so many events happen in my life. And when bad events happen in my life, instead of me focus on that bad event, I choose to focus on good things and go to school or get educated or pay for something else to teach me something to make me better, right? So I call it the, the compound of bad events made me grow in life and my passion, all right? It gave me opportunity to grow. That's, that's what I would say that, all right? Next slide, all right. So about us, alternate. Uh, Williams Reality came in my head. It popped in my head. I made this business, right? And with this business, Williams Reality LLC, it began as I want to buy houses, rent them out, and keep them, all right? However, over time, I came to be more than just a buy and hold company. All right, I play Monopoly. <laughs> all right, so later on, I became more than that. 
um, with COVID-19 hit, several people uh, got stimulus money and they decided to go to Walmart and buy all kinds of crap, right? I call it crap because a big screen TV, PlayStations, um, all this other stuff, it doesn't make you money. You at home with your family and you go out there and spend money on stuff that doesn't matter. This was an ample opportunity for you to get that money in my eyes and use that money for some bigger things and better things, right? Like I'm talking about education, <laughs> self-education, uh, buy something that can teach you something more, right? So it, it, it kind of bothered me, but instead of me getting mad and getting aggravated, I said, you know what? I have a Facebook page. I'm, I'm currently serving in the military and I'm not teaching anymore. So this gives me an opportunity to go out there and walk and talk. So my walking talks was motivational speech, speeches about how can you um, do something with your life better, right? How can you look at opportunity in a time where things don't seem so uh, open, right? Uh, COVID-19, you have some loved ones passing. However, you are at home with your family and you're getting paid. So uh, let's make the best of this opportunity. Let's make lemonade out of lemons. That's what the goal was. And I, I, I walked like up to 20 miles one time. And at that time I, I, I talked <laughs> and um, it, it, it made me feel sane because I had a chance to give back, right? So that's what walking talks were. And then now, because I spent so much money self-educating, at the end of this, this, this presentation, you will see why I'm an affiliate now. So you know how you go out there and go to a restaurant and the food is so great, right? It's so great that you want to tell everybody about it. Um, you don't get paid for that. But however, if you invest money into a business and you become part of that business, sometimes they give you referral fees for referring other people. So now I'm affiliated. I got affiliates, right? I done business with these people. They did me well. Instead of me being mad about it or whatever, or griping about it, or just telling you about it, now I have a chance to capitalize off of that opportunity. So uh, we got to market the affiliates now, right? All right, cool. All right, so that's enough about the boring story. The boring stuff was me, right? <laughs> Stop now. If you're going to got a pen and paper, go get your pen and paper. If you're checking emails, if you're searching the in engine uh, internet, Stop now. This is the part about you now, all right? You talked about all the, the stuff that didn't matter, me. I, I don't matter. I just want to show you who I was because I don't want you to listen to a person that you think is a, 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 a millionaire right now, all right? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, all right? <laughs> but I am a person that's that um, got some ambition and I want to do more, right? So my goal is to try and help you do more <laughs> too, all right? So pay attention as much as you can. Get used to this raspy voice because it's raspy. Uh, grab a pen and paper. Take notes as you can. If I have your email address, I promise you, I will email you this tomorrow. If I don't have your email address, whomever invited you, give them your email address. Tell them to send it to me. If you put in a group message, I cannot promise you I'm going to go back in there and look at it. I'm just being honest, right? So uh, either the person invited you, send it to them. Or send it to me if you got my personal information so I can send it back to you, right? And um, at the end, ask questions because I'm echoing because I'm on YouTube Live and I'm excited. <laughs> I mean, I'm really excited, all right? So I got lights in my face. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I'm a celebrity. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. Guys, we're going to have to have fun with this even though I can't hear you. All right. So business ownership, guys. There's so many forms of business ownership and I do not read slides, all right? I will read certain parts of this, right? So on this slide right here, the only thing I want to focus on is one thing, right? Franchise, right? That's it. That's all I want to focus on, franchise. So I don't believe in giving you information without giving you all information, right? Wow. My brother won in basketball. Awesome. <laughs> all right. So um, a franchise is the most important thing right now. I, I just want you to keep that in the back of your mind. Then the next important thing I want you to think about is a family business, not your business, a family business. That's the next thing I want you to think about. Franchise, family business. Keep that in your mind as we go forward, all right? Now, those are other areas of ownership. 
That's all I'm gonna say about that, all right? Because that's not the most important thing to this conversation. All right, why start a business? Good question, I don't know. Why do you wanna start a business? Um, maybe because it's your own idea. Maybe because you made a hair product that's better than anybody else hair product. Maybe because you have the bright idea that, hey, you know what? I wanna make an electric car, Tesla. All right, maybe because I went to school, I noticed something that they didn't teach me. So therefore I wanna teach financial literacy and I wanna start a business doing that early for middle school age kids. Hint, hint, my book. <laughs> hint, hint, my book, all right? Sooner or later, I'm gonna have a book come out, focus on middle school kids, investing now, investing now. When they get money from Christmas, from birthdays, let's put that into some kind of investment and let's have some fun with some of it, right? Idea, right? Great idea. Um, higher risk, right? Higher rewards. A nurse do the doctor job but the nurse don't get paid with the job, doc, the uh, doctor get paid, right? The nurse get paid to be a nurse. They do all the first line work, really. The doctor come in, listen to what the nurse said, come in, check your heart, check your ears, look down your throat, look in your nose and say, ah, this is what it is. The nurse did the work. But if the, if the doctor say the wrong thing, you're suing the doctor, not the nurse. Higher risk. High reward. He make more money. She make more money based off of signing the paperwork, saying this is what's wrong, right? Now, last thing, but not least, a person who organized and operated business or businesses taking a greater than normal risk, financial risk, in order to do so, right? That's an entrepreneur. That's just the definition, right? I don't know. That's somewhere off of Google or something. All right. So franchising. Again, I'm going to go back to franchising. I'm going to pause, let you look at this. There's some advantages and disadvantages, right? If you look at the picture, you know, mom, dad, and somebody with training wheels on, all right? A child with training wheels on, right? You got somebody helping you through the process. You got somebody already know the process teaching you along the way. That's what I want to keep in mind with franchising. That's the biggest advantage that I can tell you just by looking at that picture. I intentionally picked that picture. A person with training wheels on that wants to do it, but needs some assistance. And not only do they have assistance with the training wheels in the back, they have coaches that's on their side. It's a good feeling, right? It's a good feeling, right? Just think about that. You can read on I me mean, all you want. But that's what I want you to get in your mind. Visualize that. Now, um, some people don't like to be called losers, right? And nobody on this call don't like to be called a loser. And I know that everybody on this call, nine times out of 10, got a nine to five job. They're working for somebody. However, Robert Kiyosaki, who I stole this idea from, saying that we are losers if we are employed by somebody else and we work for somebody else. Nobody want to be a loser. I'm employed by somebody. I work for Uncle Sam. I'm a school teacher by trade. But guess what? If I don't work, once my retirement is up, I mean, once my uh, sick days is up, <laughs> my leave is up, my vacation is up, I don't get paid. That's why you say we're a loser, because we're working to get paid. Um, Self-employed, bottom left, S. If I'm a barber, a beautician, I have a car wreck. I crush my wrist. Can I still be a barber and beautician? Yeah, I can. With the person that held patience with me. If I'm a dentist, if I'm a surgeon and my hands get crushed, do I still have a job? No. Steph employed. You are the job. Top right corner. You got businesses, right? You have a business, you have a system in place that yes, you may be the boss, you may be the manager, you may be the person in charge right now, but you have an up and coming person that wants to be in charge. They don't care about owning the business. They just want to be in charge. You hire them, you bring them on board. They take over your systems. You out 
drinking coffee at a beach, you out hanging out and they're running your business and you're getting income based off of everybody else's efforts. That's a business owner, right? That's what we hope to be. That's why I hope you hope to be. That's why you're on this call tonight. Investors, right? Um, I had an opportunity to come up. Look, bro, I got the money, but I want to help you out with opportunity. I got the money. I want to help you out with opportunity. How about that money you have in the bank that's doing nothing besides making a 0.8%, 0.5% interest rate? How about I give you 8% interest rate on that money that you got in the bank sitting there chilling? Is that a good deal or not? Yeah, it's a good deal, right? Yeah. So an investor is the person that put their money into something, don't do any of the work, and the money makes money. Your money is not for a savings account. I wish I, 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 I should have been prepared. I should have brought me a dollar in here. It says a certificate of note, a house note, a car note. As long as you're paying a note, the car really don't belong to you. It still belongs to whom? The person you're purchasing from. So if a dollar, a hundred dollars says, a fifty dollars says, a certificate of note, it's an IOU. It's not even money. It's an IOU. It's a certificate. It's a note. So guys, if you have money in the bank, you have a whole bunch of IOUs in a bank. I'm not going to go down the rodeo, but I'm going to just tell you this. Turn that IOU to an asset. Use that IOU to buy something that bring you more IOUs, and now you got an asset, right? That's what I want to say about that. That's it. So as an investor, um, you want your money to make more money. You don't want to work for your money. You want the money you already have to continue to compound the stock market, right? That's one example. That's just one. All right, so income generating cash flow. I highlighted that in yellow for your purpose, right? So to the business, all right? I'm going to speed up right now. So guys, I am not a professional. I am just another person just like you. I work a nine to five job. Well, I work all day long, 24 hours in the military, right? We on the clock every day, all day, all right? So I'm, I'm not even nine to five. I'm all day. <laughs> I'm worse than you. <laughs> so, all right, disclaimer. I'm not a professional. I cannot give you legal advice. All Yo. I can do is give you instructional tools. So take all this information I give you as instructional information. I hope like heck it helps you. I hope like Yo. heck it helps you, right? So the agenda, we're going to talk about a few things. Marion, what are you doing on my board? Nah. All right, so um, that's the outline of what we're going to talk about. When you set up a business, if you don't want to stay on this call, this slide right here tell you everything. Get your company address. Get you a name of your company, get your bank account, get your business card, get your entity, whatever entity you may be, get your website, get your phone number and lead generation. The only thing I left, oh, nope, I didn't leave that out. That, that's it. So anybody that's bored, get the hell off the call. I mean, get the heck off the call. <laughs> it's over yeah. with. You got everything you need, right? Hey, that's all yes. you ask for, how to start a business, right? Nah, don't do that. Stay on. All right, so where are you located? Right, this is the gyms. I'm gonna give out some extra stuff now. I was an idiot, right? Make when sure your in, voice I, is unmuted. We can hear your me. conversation. I didn't listen to this podcast, this YouTube, or this live Zoom. I had a PO box. I use my personal address. Yeah, guys, mute your phone. I heard that. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to find out how to mute everybody. I'm sorry. I don't know how right now. I'm not that technology savvy. That's why it shows you can make money in real estate because you got a person like me doing real estate and I can't control remote control. I can, I can actually see who's not on mute. So I can, they could either put their phone on mute. I wish I, I, I can't figure it out. All right. I can't figure it out that quick, guys. Now I'm not good on the spot. I'm trying to figure out how to mute everybody. I did hear somebody say, please mute your phone, please. So if you're on your phone and it's not muted, mute your phone, please. All right, back to the presentation. So guys, I started off, I made all the mistakes. I don't want you to make the same mistakes I make. Do not use a PO box. Do not use a PO box. Do not use a PO box. I can't say that, that with like 
you cannot use a PO box, right? But I'm telling you, if you can avoid using a PO box, don't. Why did you say that, Terrence? Because if you use a PO box, you're not a legitimate business, right? You want to use a suite. You want to use uh, FedEx suites. You want to use UPS suites because now you got a suite number. That's like you got an office number, right? If you use a PO box, when you do certain documentation, they don't accept that. They say they won't do that. You have to have a real mailing address and that's a disadvantage, right? So don't make that same mistake. Don't use your personal address. If you use your personal address when coming up with a business, then guess what happens? Uh, people know where you live. And the whole purpose of having a business ownership is so people don't know you and where you live. So you want people to contact you. Um, I just got a text message for a virtual address. I don't have the information on that, but I will tell you that in the call, when we have question and answers, I'll let that person speak up and tell you more about it. But a virtual address is something that's new. Google search it if you have questions. I don't know about it. I never use it. Everything in the presentation on this presentation is somewhat that I possibly used or I read about myself personally. So I'm only giving you that. But I'm seeing that same as a UPS address, all right? So uh, if, or a FedEx address. So if you use a virtual address, uh, I, I could do multiple things at one time, as you can see. So if you're using a virtual address, it's the same thing as a suite number. So use that too. So you got virtual and you got UPS, you got FedEx. It may be other sources out there. I'm not advocating for nobody. Nobody give me no money. I'm not affiliated with them. They're not paying me for telling you this. Therefore, use whatever you source you want to. <laughs> but business cards. All right. Guys, my business card on the first side is not because I think I'm I'm the most handsome fella in the world, besides my son, he looked better than me, but uh, it's because it means something. When a person got a picture on a card, they're less likely to throw it away. They're less likely to forget about it and they will remember it. So my picture is there for that. Not only did I put a picture on there, these are my gems, guys. I'm giving you bonuses right now. Not only did I give a, a picture of myself so you can remember who the heck you were when you met me at so-and-so real estate company or when you met me at, at the mall or when you met me at wherever you met me at, now you got a picture to go with it. You also got a referral program. Now I got you out there advocating that if I find somebody for him, he's going to give me $100. Now I got somebody there talking for me. I'm not, I don't have to talk all the time. I got somebody talking for me, right? So that's why you want to put a referral program and you want to put your name on the back of the card. Then you don't want to put your personal phone number on a card, right? You don't want to put your personal phone number on a card because if you put a personal phone number on the card, then now you got a challenge. You got folks contacting you at 12 o'clock at night and four o'clock in the morning and all kinds of times, right? So you want to find a source that keep that person from contacting you anytime they want to, right? So Hey, guess what I use? A Gmail voice account, a Google voice account. Awesome. Not only do is a Google voice account awesome because it don't bother you, it's awesome because it translates any voice messages for you. You get it in your email. All my tenants have Google voicemail. All right, they, they've been getting hacked. I don't know about they've been hacked, but I haven't had a bad experience with them, right? So, so far, I got people, my tenants call me. <laughs> All right, my tenants call me. I don't answer the phone. It goes to voicemail, and it if they leave a message, it reads out what they tell me. When I send them an email back saying, you owe me rent on this day, this time, this much, guess what it does? It gives a translation in email showing time, date, stamp when I sent that message to them, when they message back to me. Guys, that's a bonus, right? That's a bonus. I'm, I'm helping you out. I'm trying. This goal is to make you be better, right? To learn from my mistakes. Boom. Last but not least, open a bank account, right? You got to open a bank account. You don't want to use your personal bank account for your business use. You have to open up an individual bank account for bank purposes for tracking purposes. And I'm gonna go ahead and say this right now. Get Quicken Books if you don't have Quicken Books. Wow, what would he be calling me right now? 
All right, somebody call me. All right, let's do that. All right, so I don't know what it happened. All right, so please get quick in books. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a link at the back, but I'm gonna tell you this right now. Why I got this in? I could have put quick in books right here. So link your if you don't have a lot of stuff. Quick in books costs five ninety nine a month. Five ninety nine a month. Link it to your business checking account. Make sure every transaction that you do in your business is through your business checking account, right? Now, guess what? At the end of the year for taxes, I wasn't prepared for this, but I do have it on the side over here. Um, nope, nope, it's not over there. All right, so at the end of the year, all you gotta do go quick and books, go to summary and print, go to summary and save. Every transaction went in my checking and out of my say, my checking. If it's in my savings account, I move it into my checking, then I pay the bill, right? So everything go through Quicken Books that's linked to my bank account that go through my checking account so it can be tracked through Quicken Books. That's how that works, right? That helps you out. That's a bonus right there. That's another bonus. Mama, I'm muting you, mama. I love you too. I'm muting you. All right, so, <laughs> all right. The good thing that I get my screen big, guys. I see who microphone is not muted, so I'm muting y'all. All right. Um, next, Quicken Books bank account. At the end of the thing, you have a link to go to Quicken Books. Don't go buy Quicken Books on your own. Use my link so I can get the little referral. <laughs> Ain't never like five dollars, but give me that. Give me that. Give me that. All right. So next, Kiss. So everybody on this call that's in the military that know me. Keep it simple, stupid, right? Keep it simple, stupid. Nobody likes to be called stupid, right? But in business, you want to keep everything simple, stupid, right? If you keep it simple, stupid, now it's simple. Williams, reality is my name, my business. It's simple and it's easy, right? Everybody says it's got a ring to it, right? It's not that hard. It's not complicated. It's not Williams Reality. I want to help you all every day, right? It's just Williams Reality. That's it. I use a house on there so that you can see real estate on it, right? I believe in eagles. Eagles fly higher than any other bird, right, that I know of. I mean, y'all may know some I don't know, but eagles fly high, right? Eagles, never mind, I ain't going to go down there. But uh, eagles are some very unique birds. So that's why that's my thing. That's a whole nother class and a whole nother lecture another day, right? Now, that's that's what I want you to keep it simple. Um, I call that design my Nike chick. Do you see the W in there? All right, Williams, that's my W right there. And there are my realities, right? So I kept it simple. I kept it, I, I made it a little bit much, you know, a little complex, but at the end of the day, it's good. All right, so short, simple, to the point, Williams reality. Next. If you want to get your website, I mean, once you come with your name, go to GoDaddy first. Once you come with your name, go to GoDaddy. Put your name in there and make sure nobody else has that name. They're going to do a free search for you, right? Now you know if you got a name that you can use. If your name don't work, it won't be in GoDaddy. GoDaddy usually search all the names out there and make sure your name is good for you, right? All right, if you want to go to Wix, you can go to Wix, all right? Uh, when you make a website, once you make your website and click on that link, and if you have a uh, properties, all your rental properties on there, guess what that is? A flyer. Williams Reality, all the picture of your houses. Yeah, now it's a flyer. Save as Adobe, scan, print, e uh, whatever, email, whatever. So when you have a website, it's not only a website to bring people in, to draw people in, to get work done. It's also a flyer if you want to use a flyer. Screen print, save as Adobe, email, right? Real simple, guys. Um, and, and then you got all kind of other websites you can use for that information. Um, I, let me go and bring your attention to this, right? Now, I'm not, I'm a, I'm a PE teacher. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a PE teacher, right? So uh, grammar is not my specialty, but this is the way I talk. Generational wealth for my grandchildren's children. Right? Grandchildren, children. So three generations, what I want to do. I want my son, kids, kids to win off of my efforts. I just want to go and highlight that real quick. So I want my son, 
kids, kids to win off my efforts. And I hope you have the same goal. All right, next, legal entity, all right, legally covered. So on this one right here, we're going to highlight LLC. We're going to highlight doing business ads, right? That's the easiest Dude, You way need to listen to this stuff. Legal entities, all right? When you come to legal entities, there's several ways of doing it. But the best way and the easiest way and the quickest way is doing business as an LLC. All right. Who to use? All right. You want to go get to a real estate attorney if you're doing a real estate business. You want to go talk to them. You want to make them your friend and you want to have a conversation with them. We're going to talk more about that later on. Now, how do you find a real estate attorney? A title company. Yes, I see. Ding, 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 ding. A title company, right? Now, some of you got Team National, some of you got some workshops, some businesses, and you know how to get, you got Zoom legal, you got all this other stuff you can use. Use them, use them, take advantage of them, right? Um, the other way is you partner with a guy like me, or you partner with somebody on this call that's a mastermind that's doing a business, and you talk to them and they teach you and they tell you and they, they refer you to their friends. Um, next, LLC. You want to go to your state, your secretary of state, right? Your secretary of state. If you go to your secretary of state, they can help you to start your business. You do whatever they tell you to do and you start your LLC, right? And that's what we need you to do. Go to your secretary of state, start your LLC. I don't know everybody. I'm based out of Louisiana. So therefore, all the information you see from me is from Louisiana, right? So I need you to go to your secretary of state or whatever state you in, and then you find out what exactly you need to do to start your LLC. After you go to your, whatever state you are, then you go to EIN application, right? That's anywhere. Anybody in the United States can go to EIN, click on that link, and guess what you can do? Apply for EIN. It's basically your business social security number, right? That's what you're going to carry in your ta taxes. That's what you're going to file. That's what you're going to use whenever you're doing business. That's your business social security number, right? Got it. Too easy. All right. Next. All right. This is my bread and butter, guys. Uh, take a little moment to look at the picture. You can read all you want, but the most important thing you need to understand is if you're doing business in your personal name, you're doing yourself an injustice, right? If you're doing stuff in a business name, you're doing yourself a solid, a solid, right? So you see a W-2, both companies. A W-2 is a personal tax return. A self-employed person or business is a 1099. They both made $1,000. The person that working a J-O-B paid in taxes. They took your money. The government did, and they did all kinds of good things all year long with your money, and they made so much money off your money, and then they brought you back a little refund check, a little refund check. It aggravates me how people get excited about a refund check. They took your money that you work hard for every day. They went and invested your money into several different other adventures. They made a lot of money off of your money and they gave you a slimy, low-rate refund check. I hope that resonates with you when I say it that way. Right? So just think about that. Now, all right, they gave you, two, you paid $250 that they invested all year long, right? Um, after tax dollars, $750. However, your personal expense, you bought computers, you, you drove your car, you got a cell phone, you got internet at your house, you have um, business cards you give out in your personal name, you have paper you ran off, you got printers you bought, all kinds of stuff you done bought up, and you got $900 of expense, and guess what? At the end of the year, your remaining capital is negative $150. Now, let's say we do stuff in a business name, right? Hey, we did everything right. We went to got an LLC that costs $50. It costs, LLC only costs $50 to do, guys. It's not that much money. I mean, I don't know what your, your state is. It costs me $35. I'm just saying a higher number because when you go to your LLC and you try to do it and you see it's lower, you'd be like, it didn't even cost me 50. You, you really told me that, all right? So you go out there and do stuff in a business name. You make the same $1,000. 
I bought the computer, I bought the internet, I bought the phone, I got the paper, I got the business cards. All my expense equals $900, the same $900 that you spent as the personal. Now my taxable income is different. I subtract my expense from my earnings. I got $100 taxable income now. Tax paid, taxable, $25. You know, remaining capital, I got $75. I get money back. You owe money. You do stuff in your personal name, you're causing yourself money. You do stuff in a business name, you're making yourself money. Everything you do in your business name is an expense on your business and it's right off. Wow. All right. So I beat that. I beat that up. All right. So I'm going to speed up, guys. I don't want to keep y'all all night. So, guys, um, uh, LLC. I like LLCs. I'm harping on LLCs. We're going to list all the, all the different business types. But we're going to harp on LLC because that's what we kind of push you forward to. But it's a combination of everything, right? Everybody can't have an LLC, but in real estate, you can, right? So that's what this is a real estate car. So I'm not going to bore you with all that. But LLC, all right? You got this information. Boom. Now, it's some advantages. Combine the benefits of partnerships, corporation, limited part. You know, I'm not going to read all that to you, right? So you got a lot of exposure. You get some money. You get some benefits. You get some advantage. Disadvantages, all right, you know, in some states, they got different rules and regulations. Seven floor taxes may not be permitted. You got some disadvantages out there. I can't speak on everybody. I'm not a professional, right? But uh, tax requirements, you know, you do a form 8832, which is electing how you want to file your taxes. But guess what I do with mine? I can tell you from personal experience. When I file my personal income taxes, I also file my LLC taxes. All in one setting, nothing extra, nothing extra. Do I pay a little bit more? The amount of money I pay, I get to write it out next year. What? Yeah, everybody on here, when you pay taxes, you get to write it out the next year. It's a tax deductible write off. It's not a big deal, right? <laughs> so I hope you get that out of that. That's what I got out of that, right? Now, how can people find you? Guys, I intentionally put this picture on there. That's, <laughs> ain't none of these people my color, but <laughs> they everywhere, all right? How can people find me in a crowd that big? That's what I want you to think about. So how can you find me in the whole wide world? I have handles. I have a website. I went to go there and I made me a website. I got a Magic Jack phone number. I got a Google Voice phone number. I got a Deal Automator phone number. That's through one of my apps I have for generating wealth, right? Generating leads, generating people that want my business. So I got a phone number just for that. So if you hit me on that number, then boom, right? So how can you find me? I got ways to find me. I got other social media handles as well. So I put that busy picture on there so you can get that visual in your head that in this whole wide world, you want somebody to find you. So you need ways for them to find you. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, how I find you, how do I find you, right? So I have Facebook page, uh, Twitter page, LinkedIn page, Google page, all that's gonna be in the back of the thing. Not only do I have that, I have squeeze pages. So I have a lead generator. WilliamsReality.com is a lead generator, right? Um, you can go there and see what kind of products I have, my portfolio, what I do. If you go to my sale properties, WilliamsRealitySaleHouses.com, it's a squeeze page. I can send you that link, you fill it out, you come back. I can post it on Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter, uh, anywhere that take verbal words, I can post it out there. You put your information in and come back to me and let me know. You wanna sell your house, you wanna buy houses, or if you want your money to make money, if you wanna be a private investor, right? So squeeze page, that's an example of a squeeze page, right? Uh, sell your unwanted house today. That's an example. I use my image, show you my logo, show you a book I'm gonna give you for free just for subscribing to me to sell your house, your unwanted house. I'm gonna give you information back. It's called a squeeze page, right? Got it. Next, bail, right? Bail, bail, B-A-I-L, right? I need, you need a banker, you need an accountant, you need an insurance agent, you need a lawyer. That keep you out of jail. <laughs> 
<laughs> they keep you out of jail. It keep you from bailing out, right? So if you bail, if you do your bail first up front, you get you a great banker. When I say a great banker, I mean a banker that you can actually call you on your phone. You can call on their cell phone. You can get gifts. All right, it's back there. So my banker sent me some wine. That's, that's my banker. My banker sent me wine. Uh, my banker sent me postcards. My banker says, hey, Mr. Williams, if you have a tenant and you want to do paperwork with them, you in D.C., you're up there serving our country. I would go by their house and do that for you. Let me pause. My banker does that for me. That's what a banker is. All my other bankers, they don't, right? Now, the other banker I got, hey, look, I can call them up and say, listen, I got some land for sale. I want to, well, I, I seen some land for sale. I want to buy this land. What can I do with it and how can you help me do it? And I shut up. And they tell me what they can do for me, not what I can do for them. That's a banker, right? So if you don't have a banker like that and you ain't got their personal cell phone number, Yes, your first challenge. Go out there and get your banker, right? Go talk to your banker. Go get the phone number. Be friends. Next, accountant. If I text my accountant right now at this time at whatever time it is, 949, my accountant going to text me back. Not email. Not call tomorrow doing business hour. I can call my accountant right now and say, hey, look, I want to do partnership with this person. What do I need to do? Well, Mr. Williams, this is what you need to do. That's what I need to hear, right? That's it. Insurance agent. I can call my insurance agent right now. Her son is on the phone. Lennox, <laughs> he on the phone right now, right? Me and his mom is like this. She called me and said, Happy New Year. She called me and said, What's up? That's what kind of insurance agent you want. Not one that just take your money. One that calls you and check on you. Hey, stuff going on at the White House on Capitol how you doing up there? I was worried about you. I promise you I got that phone call from my insurance agent. That's the type of insurance agent I want. Lawyer, now, 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 now. You have to friendly bob with the lawyer, right? Once you meet your lawyer, you send gifts to your lawyer. You send postcards to your lawyer. You reach out to your lawyer. Because if you reach out to your lawyer before you need them, they are phone call away. They are text message away. Guys, these are gems. I'm giving you love, right? I'm telling you. You reach out to your lawyer. You build a relationship with them. You know what their child name is. You know what their significant other name is. You send them, thank you, cards. Love you. How you doing? I hope you all as well. I'm just thinking about you text messages. Because guess what happens? When you need them, you can call them. You can text them, you can chit chat with them, and they don't charge you a sit down fee. They don't charge you, uh, I forgot the word for it, whatever the legal fee is that they give you for just a, comforta a, com a consultational fee. You don't have to pay the consultational fee, right? They tell you stuff. Hey, you know what? I got a buddy that want to get in the business. They don't know what to do. What should I tell them? Okay, thank you. Hey, I'm not a lawyer, but I can tell you this. Right? <laughs> All right. Done deal. I spent a lot of time on that because that's important. So if you don't want to bail out of jail, bail first. Get you a good banker, a good account, a good insurance agent, a good lawyer, right? Now, workspace, guys, it's all you need. I try to find the closest thing, a cell phone, a computer. Uh, I don't see the notepad, but you see the pins over there to the left. I, I wish I could have drew a notepad on there, right? Let's imagine a notepad. Uh, a digital camera, which, you know, you can use your phone, you can use your cell phone for a digital camera. That's all you need, guys. That's all you need. You don't need no, you don't need nothing that's crappy. You just need the basics. That's it. That's all you need to start your business, right? In real estate, in real estate, in real estate. All right. Um, find out more about me. So remember I told you I got handles. Um, I, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Pinterest. I'm on um, LinkedIn. I'm on YouTube. We're doing our first YouTube live. I'm excited. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's the way you know me. Um, again, um, you can Google my business. Guys, if you don't got to Google my business, get a Google my business. 
You want people to show that, hey, people out there giving you reviews, people can find you. Um, you on Google. Google is everywhere, right? All right, so affiliates. Remember I told you I paid a lot of money for a lot of programs, right? So a program is great. In this business, you got to have skin in the game. You cannot do a business without putting money into your business. You can come to me all day long saying you want help, you want to learn, you want to do this and that. You have to put some money in this business, right? So what I did was I started investing. I invested into a lot of different programs. I invested into a lot of different people. I invested into a lot of different adventures. Uh, wow. Uh -oh, I need to cut y'all out. Joe, why are you scratching my paper up, man? All right, so um, I did a lot, right? Joe, you hating on me, man? Me, you brother. No, no. All right, so good. <laughs> that's what you want to do, right? The first thing you want to do is you want to invest in somebody that's smarter than you. I'm telling y'all now, you're in a mastermind group. You have a lot of people on this call that have experience. Work with them, all right? Work with them. The franchise thing, again, franchise. We have a system already in place. If you like our system, Trade with us, work with us. We get paid at the end, you get your money. That's my system. My system is I partner with you. I do a deal with you. You learn from me. You go do it by yourself if you want to, or you keep doing it with me. If you happy with, with the outcome, right? That's my system. Uh, Joe, Jamila, um, Antoine, DJ, everybody on this call, can call all your names. Y'all may got different systems, right? But my system is real simple. Either you're going to, I'm going to walk with you, teach you everything I know. You got to do the legwork. I get paid for my time of training you. You walk away with the knowledge and you can do it by yourself. Or you say, you know what? You made it so sweet. I'm going to do it with you again. That's it. I'm teaching you my business, my business my method, right? Um, and other folks may got other ways. I'm just saying that at the end of the day, if you franchise, quote unquote, JV, quote unquote, partnership, quote unquote, whatever you want to call it with somebody else that's more knowledgeable with you, then you learn from them, right? And you move forward. So I got deal evaluated. I already paid a $400 a month, I mean, a year for that, right? I think it's $400 a year. I think, I don't know how much it is, but whatever it is, awesome system. I have that system. If you want in on it, let me know. Hit me up, email me, text me, whatever. And we'll talk about how you can get in on that and help me pay for that down. That's it. Uh, deal Automator. Guys, that's, I promise you, that's the best system I got in the whole wide world. Jamila was on the call last week. She told you about how you skip trades. She talked about how you can track your business. She talked about a whole bunch of good things. Deal Automator, you all that in one. And guess what, guys? I, I hate to tell you this. I'm going up on a price. I only got like four spaces left for Deal Automator. A lot of you took active and started paying in on it. And I gave you an email address and a month to month access to it. And guess what? Now I only got like four spaces left. So I got to go up to $75. So if you want deal automated now, since you didn't react last week or the year before, and you want to access to run your own business based off me paying my money for it, it's $75 now a month because you waited. And guess what? If you get to the last two and next month, somebody tell you, hey, I want to pay $75. It's going up. I'm going to go up higher because supply and demand. I only got a few people need it, right? So that's that. Deal automated. It's awesome. Lee Orner. All right. That right there. Nah. Nah. All right. That's my, uh, the 56, the rule of 56. Uh, that's not that good, right? I'm not going to advocate for that. But I did go to this training. I got some knowledge from it. Bigger pipe. Yes, I pay a membership for a whole year. Awesome deal. They give teaching, training, YouTube, podcast for free. So you ain't got to pay for that, right? I'm not going to sell it to nobody because it's free. I have a membership. I like to have inside access. I can uh, analyze deals. I can show deals. I can, I got, um, by paying for it, I get to, um, basically, if I find a rent house, I can put a rent house in there or a flip. I can put it in there and advertise because I pay for the membership. That's it. So the only thing out of this is that I will tell you that I would, charge you to use my access is deal valuator and deal automator, right? We can partner up and you can use my access. That's what I would tell you on those two. The other two, nah, don't worry about that. You can pay for it yourself. It's cheap. All right. <clears throat> Fun and grow. Everybody need money for a business, right? You need money. You need money. You need money, right? 
So if you need money, if you go right now and start a business today, open a bank account, go to the bank and say, I want $100,000, they're going to laugh at you, right? You need two-year tax returns. So you don't have two years tax return, right? So you got Funding Grow, which is a company that started in 2000 and don't make me lie, six or 10, whenever the market crashed a long time ago, I think it's six, right? This company started because the market crashed. Uh, economy went down. We started going to Iraq. We started going to war. Um, everything started flopping. And a lot of investors started flopping on their deals, right? The They had those variable interest rate loans. The interest rate went high. A whole bunch of bad things happened to real estate investors. So Fund and Grow had relationships with several different banks. This is my scenario, right? They, this is my, my, my understanding. They had several relationships with several different banks and they was millionaires. They had money. So they said, no, we can't make these real estate agents, the real estate investors fall off because the economy went bad. They said, let's capitalize off of the experience and let's form um, a group funding and let's help people keep their money going and keep everything going, right? So that was fun and grow is. So once you get this email or this link from me, you can listen to them. They're going to teach you and tell you somewhat of what I said, and they're going to capitalize on it. I can tell you from my experience, I got $99,000 and $700 worth of lines of credit with three batches. I didn't even do my fourth batch, and I did it by myself. I, didn't, I used my mom at first. I took her off because there's a little bit of legwork with that. It's a little bit of reading emails and responding and sending emails back and forth a little bit. And you got to trust somebody with your personal information. I'm just doing it out there. You got to trust somebody. However, the company gave me $99, $9,900, $99,700. I came to talk. So you make money in real estate, right? You came to talk. $99,700 from funding growth is what I got. Lines of credit, right? So with those lines of credit, what I did was a 0% interest for so many months. Some of them was like four months, some of them was like six months, some of them was like 18 months, some of them was like 12 months, right? Whatever. What I did, I had a house caught on fire. I remodeled that whole house using my credit cards and a little cash and a little cash and a little cash. But you can't, I, if I would have known what I know at first, I would have used my credit card for everything. I would have bought gift cards to pay the people. <laughs> hey, let me pay you a gift card, you know, if they would allow it, right? That's that's creative finance. All right. So from $50,000 to $250,000 through funding growth, guys, you got 60 days to get your money back. I'm an advocate. Try it out and see for yourself, right? All right. Again, that's affiliate. Next, Adobe Scan. I don't make any money off Adobe Scan. That's just me telling you. When my tenants um, want to send me stuff back, they don't have computers. They don't have you or all this other stuff. They go print it out at somebody's job. They can take a picture of it with Adobe Scan and send me all my documents back. That's a good way to do stuff, right? Quicken Books. I told you about it earlier. Link Quicken Books with your credit, I mean, with your bank account, with your checking account. Once you make your bank account for your business, I promise you, it's worth the investment. It is worth the investments. Quicken Books do your mileage. Quicken Books do a lot of stuff. It, you can even do an invoice. I send invoices to people through Quicken Books. And it's not hard. It's not hard. So Quicken Books, $5.99 a month that you tax right off is worth it, right? I promise you it's worth it. Use my link. I give you credit. Give me credit. <laughs> it, I don't know. It's maybe it's five dollars. I don't care. I just want to use my link. I just want to be excited to use my link, right? All right, next, cash app. So all my tenants pay me through cash app, guys. I mean, unless they go to the bank and pay. Cash app is awesome. I like cash app. Cash app do a running total for how much money you make, how much money you send out. I pay my, my, my air conditioner man. I pay my electrician. I pay everybody that I know of, unless it's a written check or I, did, I transfer the money from my bank account to another bank account, I pay them with cash out. And at the end of the year, you can get a summarized report of how much money you made and how much money you sent out. 
So if your chin is paying through Cash App, you can use it. When you pay people through Cash App, you can use it for to validate you on your tax returns, right? And you make money. So use my Cash App. <laughs> Look, you make money. You make $5 every time you go out there and send out to somebody. You start adding up, and then you get the $50, $100, but every time somebody sign up. So, hey, make money while recommending somebody else. Show Academy. Guys, I'm not the smartest person in the world. I like to learn. So, Show Academy, uh, this is a way for me to get $10. You can get $10 off their uh, classes. Um, I literally go and train myself on stuff. I'm learning stock market. I'm learning how to play a guitar. I'm learning how to do um, financial advising. I'm learning how to do um, all kinds of stuff through, through freaking Shaw Academy. I pay $30 or $40 or whatever a month. And I mean, not one, one time. And then they give me access to all this information and I learn more, right? Um, home advisory. Guys, please take advantage of home advisory. Um, right now, I got a lot of folks to give me quotes on a, some houses and say they want to work on my houses, right? They tell me, I'm giving you a good deal. <laughs> the way I fact check that is I do home advisory. If home advisor give me this quote and you're telling me you give me a good deal and your quote is just a couple of dollars short, I might well go to home advisor. Why, why take the back door? This person got ratings. They got stars. People keep on recommending them. They are valid. They are valid. If I use you, you're not valid. You're telling me you're making me a good deal. So home advisor, right? Um, Acorn, all right, for you people that make a little bit of money and you want to start trying to invest easily, Acorn got some out there where, you know, the, the, the change between, like, if I go out there and spend my credit card, I spend 50 cent. Um, the change between that dollar, 50 cent, they're going to invest it for me, right? That's all it is, right? That's it. All right, so who am I? How can you reach me, guys? Uh, if you don't see all this stuff behind me, oh, wow, I got to be in front of it. Cool. <laughs> All right, that's my business card behind me, guys. So that's my contact information. If you don't see that behind me, then here it is right there. <laughs> All right, boom, there you go. All right, so guys, again, the only thing I ask for, I don't want none of your money right now. All I want you to do is give me a five-star rating. Whoever got my email invite, my text message invite, or whatever invite, and you need my uh, review, just give me a five-star rating because I want more people to reach out to me for advice, suggestions, and plus you're helping me to sell my book. When I get all these five-star ratings, they'll be like, hey, look, this guy right here is already rated. So by the time I give a book out there, he's already the man. So help me help you, help you help me. And I promise you, we all gonna keep doing these free trainings for more people to learn more about the business, right? And last but not least, uh, uh, this is my last slide, right? Robert Kiyosaki is an awesome person. I don't want to take credit for his slides. So I put definitely his information out there. Also, the Small Business Bureau is where I got a lot of this information from. So you can go to Small Business Bureau. That's both their links. So when you get the email, you can click on those links. But guys, ESBI, ESBI, right? Employee, self-employed, business owner, investor. All right, we all got to start somewhere. We all got to start somewhere. Start right now being an employee. Start becoming a business owner. Uh, if you already uh, self-employed, learn to start making a system where you teach other folks to do what you're doing and make money off their efforts. And then you become an investor by stepping away from it, chilling, and your money keep making money. That's what I hope for you, and that's what I want for you, and that's why I pray for you, and that's why I ask for you to get to, right? So that concludes this briefing. Um, now we open up for questions and answers. I'm gonna open up for, um, I'm gonna open up to read some of y'all chat messages. I don't know what the y'all said, so let me look. All right, so I see, uh, I use Northwest. All right, my bad, brother. Uh, hey, LT, you're gonna send the slide deck out. Yes, I'm gonna send a slide deck out. He said he will email it out. Yeah, I did say I email it out. Okay, thank you, Priscilla. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> All right, I caught up. All right, thank you, Priscilla. <laughs> so, guys, I'm going to turn my volume back up. I hope I don't echo too much. If I got delays because I'm echoing or you ask a question, and I hear the second part of it. So that's it, and I'll figure out how to do YouTube better. Uh, thank you so much for attending. If you need to fall off, I understand. 
This time now is for the people with questions and answering. And um, anybody can weigh in on this. Anybody can charm in on whatever I presented. It's, it's open. Mike is open. Hey, LTSP. Um, so I wanted to ask you about the Shaw Academy. Did you say that that's um, basically like a paid kind of podcast webinar type of uh, scenario where you can learn different topics? So the, the delay is I hear you talking now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I heard you the first time, but um, I, I'm ADHD. I can hear you in it. So, all right. So, so, all right. So, this the way. Let me do it this way first. I signed up for Shaw Academy. Mm -hmm. um, they, you register for two classes a week. You put the date and time you available. The class run. If you get on, you listen in, and you can always go back and listen to it again. It gives you um, a $40 opportunity to pay for extra information like the slide deck, the handouts, uh, and some bonus information. They give you quizzes. And if you do all four modules, then you can get a certificate like you graduated from a college. Oh, wow. <laughs> cool. Okay. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to check that out. Please, please use my link. I will. I love how you have all the links in your um, PowerPoint. So I'm gonna go back through there and make sure that whatever I do check out, I click your link to do it. Cool beans, cool beans. Any other questions? I don't have a question, but I have a comment. Yes, sir. Uh, my comments is to say thank you for telling everybody to go ahead and get their LLC because there is a major risk involved with running a business out of your personal name. And there's so much unforeseen risk that is very advantageous to anyone starting a business to get their LLC. And the cost benefit versus not having the LLC is definitely um, is definitely worth it. So thank you for putting that out. Thank you. You started yeah. you started pretty young, man. You you one of the first persons that I know that uh told me about it and everything. So I appreciate you, man, because you know, you know, I, I supported you for a good minute and now you supported me. So I appreciate you. Hey, what's up, man? This is Darren. Just wanted to uh just chime in, man. You know, so so one of those uh, pieces of protections relative to your LLC. Once you get it going and start opening your your credit lines, you, you you're distancing yourself. And, and you know, I, I know one of the issues that I ran into early on was inquiries on my personal credit report. Like I got a you know great credit score and all this other stuff, but those inquiries once they add up, it, it can lead to you getting denied for like little loans and and little things like that. So so getting your LLC. Uh, it, it's important that you start building out that credit history, even if it is a $5,000, $2,000 or wh whatever the case may be, credit card, but, because now you start building that credit history and you start distancing your your uh, your credit liability as well and, and, and getting ready to scale. So you want to do it as, as soon as you get started. So year two, year one, year two, you can start building on that momentum, you know, so I'm, I'm, and I'm just adding to what, what LT is talking about. As a matter of fact, LT, can you do a session one week on um, more specifically on how to build business credit and how to actually get like a Brad and Dunn score and be able to apply for credit in your business name where it's not even tied to your personal credit? Hmm. <laughs> I, I'm going to have to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to reach out to Fun and Grow. And I'm gonna try to get one of those guys to do that. Okay. Yeah, I think that'd, that'd be, be cool. better because I don't want to speak on. I mean, you know, the only thing I can tell you the basics. Um, if you do it in yeah. a business name, you know, it hurts your. If you do it in a business name, don't hurt your credit. But if you do it in your personal name, it hurts your credit. 
I, and, and I'd rather get somebody that's um, anybody on this call. First of all, before I go to Fun and Grow, in on about anybody on this call, before I can speak to that. Yeah, um, as always, man, it's been a pleasure uh, being on the call with you all. Um, and yeah, uh, I think before I answer the question, man, yeah, I think we're doing a good thing getting together and, you know, going over pertinent information or whatnot. But um, yeah, you can you can do a lot of things without putting it in your personal name. I mean, for us, I mean, I'm speaking from personal experience, like I have a whole business without having anything in my uh, personal name for the most part. Um, I mean, I use some of my, my name for credit cards, but uh, that's just a fast track to business credit. Um, the business credit is a whole nother, like you separating yourself. You know what I mean? It's like you two people. You know, your, your business has another credit line and you have another credit line. And um, like you were saying about inquirers, yeah, they uh, take a lot of your fun in the way for you having inquirers and whatnot for as business credit is concerned. But um, I mean, it's possible, man. You can get out cars and houses and everything and just your business. I mean, in normal people, normal uh, companies like Amazon, Sam's, all of those will do it without your uh, business name. I mean, I have them now. I'm, I mean, out of experience, you know what I'm saying? So you can get all of that stuff without using your personal information. But you have to start just like personal credit. You have to start somewhere. So you have to get little stuff like Uline, Granger, you know, stuff, you know, little stuff like that first. And then you build up to the bigger things like tier one, tier two, tier three, whatever. But yeah, man, it's great, man. Y'all keep up the good work. Can I can I ask a quick question? Um, this is Linus. Coach, with the one that you went through with where you did it yourself, did you end up having to be your own personal, like sign for your own business, or did it get to a point where you didn't have to? How did that work out? For like your business credit for the 99000 All right. Lennis, I heard you ask a question. Thank you so much, um, Brother Holmes, man, for that input. Um, so, Lennis, um, I did it in my business name. So, Fun and Grow create a business name for you. So, you're not even doing it. You, some of the stuff going to fall on your personal name and some is going to start on your business name because you're starting out so early. Um, however, the amount of money that you make in your business name, that's the one you're going to try and keep. Um, I'm not acknowledgeable to speak up on this like I would like, but whenever you get to business credit and you start asking for money, you got to have so many loans out there and you got to have so much um, income out there to balance it out some kind of way, a DTI. And um, the only reason why I know a little bit about this is because when I apply for money in another, um, in Texas, um, the woman told me that she gonna give me a line of credit, but she also gonna give me a credit card to make me compensate for the money some kind of way. And I don't know how that works. And I don't want to speak on that because I'm not the most knowledgeable, but I will tell you this, that I can uh, vouch for fun and grow that they will not mess over your personal credit or your business credit and it will help you out. That's what I can say. And I, and, and I don't think I answered your question, but I would say that that's the best thing I can say for that. That's the best sense I got. Hey, Williams, this is, this is Castro. Williams, I, um, everyone, I just want to say having your uh, business, um, your company in your business name is important. Um, when the COVID-19 uh, hit, you know, because of my husband and I, we had a uh, business account already. We could go to Uline. We could order the tissue paper, the toilet paper, um, and Restaurant Depot. Um, a lot of these places, you could not order or establish an account under your name unless you already had an account. So um, if you do have a business account, go ahead and start, you know, some of the little uh, small companies establishing, uh, obtaining those accounts. Um, it plays a significant role if an event, you know, supply and demand. Um, you know, uh, if you need to acquire, you know, cleaning supplies from a cleaning store, you know, it's a little, like I said, you can't get in because we had a cleaning company and we already had a business uh, line we were able to leverage and uh, acquire some of those products during COVID. 
Not only that, you're able to acquire them without paying and within 30 days because you got a net 30 account. <clears throat> and also, uh, I want to just kind of piggyback a little bit. Uh, get your DNB number. I mean, that's how uh, Don and Bradstreet, that's how they keep up with the stuff that you're spending. You know, I mean, people have a, um, a tendency to kind of mix up and confuse the EIN number with the Don's number. Uh -huh. But uh, the Don's number is pretty important because that's how Don's keep up with, you know, all of the things that you're spending inside of your company. So when you go to those companies, like what she mentioned, uh, Uline and Granger and Quill and stuff like that, you have your Don's number in there to follow you because they won't report until you have three payment purchases or whatnot, p payment experiences. So, uh, yeah, get your Don's number. Do you just go online or somewhere and apply for that? Uh, for Don's, yeah, you just go uh -huh. to Don's, Don and Bradstreet, and they give okay. it to you now. Now, it's going to take about 30 days because they're trying to get get you to pay for stuff. They have this um, um, program that they have where they actually verify accounts for you, but you don't have to pay for it. They're going to give it to you free anyway. And if you already have a, a business, they pretty much generate one for you already. You just have to call and ask for it. If you had a business and never got your Don's number, they'll generate, been a generated one. Because they call themselves kind of like, uh, they're one of the biggest companies, you know, business credit wise right. anyway. So it's kind of like credit karma or something, you know, they keep an eye on your credit. You know right. what I mean? Experience, but yeah, well, I'm sorry. Uh, Experience is a different kind of thing, though. Experience and Equifax kind of piggybacks off of both of those. But uh, Experience has its own thing. It's ex Experience Business um, Exchange or something like that. But they have another one, SSB. It's a, all of those. But the three major ones is Experience, the um, Don and Bradstreet, and the Equifax. So, I mean, now I'll show you that if you don't, um, now if they give you all of your business credit and all of that type of stuff. And that's even if you don't have any established business trade lines? Uh, as far as what? You have to have something to do what? Do you have to have any um, established business trade lines and accounts already? Or can you go ahead and request your DNB number even though you oh. don't have any business accounts Um uh, credit accounts open. Yeah, if I understand your question correctly, I would advise to go ahead and get your Dunn's number before you get any um, established accounts. Okay. Because when you get those accounts, you want to tell them, hey, my Dunn's number is such and such. So okay. So can report it. You know? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Thank you, guys. All right, I'm gonna delay it. I'm hearing everything second time. I heard it twice. <laughs> <laughs> so look, um, hey, look, Joe, you got your hand up, man. Go ahead and holler at us. Joe, you on mute. I don't know what Joe doing, man. Joe must Joe must cop, took one of them calls again. Look, <laughs> guys, look. Um, again, I know that a lot of folks have not started their business. They want to start the LLC. They want to know what to do. They want to know the first steps. So that was the purpose of this call. Um, I do greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate everyone and their input. Thank you for uh, you just taught me something to do about uh, Dunn and Bradstreet. Um, I'll look up that. Um, that's good information, bro. Appreciate that. Um, we all try to help everybody get better. We want everybody to, to make the best of their, their decisions. We want everybody to benefit and we want everybody to, to um, be able to handle their business that they make. So that's the goal. That's it. That's the goal. Hey, um, also, man, uh, before you get off the line, I don't know if you're about to close up or whatnot, but, um, I do want to uh, get your Google My Business uh, thing because I know how it is to get um, <laughs> reviews online with um, Google My Business. So uh, you send me your link, man. I'll uh, get you a review going or whatnot.
Got you covered. Got you covered. I heard it too. <laughs> I got to figure out how to fix that, guys. Anybody know how to fix that? That uh, echo we getting, uh, I'm getting over here for um, everything I'm saying. I hear myself say it again. That everything y'all say, it, it catch up. And then I hear you talking again. So I'm like, oh, I got to figure that, figure that out. All feedback. <laughs> Real time. Hey, uh, LT, have you ever heard of NAV? Yeah, that's how you check those things, man. You go, it's a business credit check. You can get check your business credit on NAV. N A V. Appreciate that. Appreciate the information. Hey, anybody, uh, Joe, you back? You back, Joe? I know Joe probably called a call or something. All right, look, who got a question? I mean, I, I look, I, my goal is to try and get y'all on and off. I know that lately we've been doing like two hours, three hours. Right. Hear none. Hear none. Hey, good. This was good information. I hope it helped. Uh, I appreciate you all. I hope you have a great evening. Um, we look forward to seeing you Monday. Um, did somebody just send me a message? Uh, we look forward to seeing y'all Monday uh, next week. Please invite someone that's on. Um, Mr. Williams, great job. Thank you for all right. <laughs> Who look, hit me up if you need me offline. Um I'm going to hit you up, Simpson, right after this call because we got a little time. Anybody else need anything before we get off this call? Thank you for your time. If you want to teach, let me know. Uh, we'll get y'all on to teach. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a great week. And I uh, love y'all. Be safe. Be kind. Thank you. Thank you, Lucky. Thanks, everybody. Love you, too, brother. Love you, too, man. Y'all take care, Thank man. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all night. Good evening. All right. Thanks for everyone that came. Bye-bye. Peace out. Good night, job boy. <laughs>